Hello there guys and welcome to Cotsonut Gaming and welcome back to Starbound. In this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you guys about the latch. So if we load up our wiring station and scroll down, uh, here we go, you can find it. The latch requires one circuit board and one laser diode, as all, as all uh, the switches have. Uh, and it reads, a latch, you'll only need to use this if you already know what it is. Uh, I certainly didn't know what it was. Uh, I had to do a bit of research uh, to get my head around it. And uh, it's... it's complicated but once you understand it it is actually quite simple and so I am going to try and explain this to you guys as well as I can uh, but if you still don't understand please please let me know in the comments below and I'll try my best to, to uh, steer you in the right direction <laughs> so as you can see here uh, as with a lot of the uh, switches it's got two inputs and one output but what's different about this one is whereas with these ones over here it hasn't really mattered at all which of the two inputs you put it in so if I was to say uh, cancel this and then swap around which input these two things are going into this will work exactly the same as it did before but with this one here uh, the top uh, input is has a different function to the bottom input and so in a way maybe they should have made them slightly different colors just to kind of elaborate on that but um, basically what we're going to call this bottom one is a uh, input mimic or just the mimic or something like that and we're going to call this top one kind of like the uh, I think the technical name for it is enable but you know for the sake of simplifying things let's just call it the 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 reset button or kind of re like mimic it now button uh, and so basically the way it works is this latch here is constantly talking to this th this uh, object here whatever you've linked it to obviously in this case it's an alarm uh, so whereas these ones only do something once you press the button this one here is constantly talking to that and what it's saying is the last time we had a look at our mimic uh, it was off and so as you can see it's off now but because this one here I don't know if you can see I've actually linked this bottom button to both the mimic button and our enable or mimic now button and so that means it's going to do both those functions at once and so if I was to press this you can see that the alarm is now going off and the reason for that is uh, this is called this top one here and what that's basically made this latch do is say okay now that we've uh, pressed the enable button or mimic now button we're going to see what our mimic is currently doing and we're going to tell our you know latched object to mimic that that function so because um, at the time of pressing the button we were obviously turning it on this latch is now constantly saying to that the last known uh, factor of our mimic is on uh, I hope I'm saying this right <laughs> well I hope I'm saying this clearly it is right but <laughs> but um, and so, yeah, so this is now constantly speaking to this and saying, all right, so it, you have to be on because the last time this one here was activated, this button was on. So it doesn't matter that this button's now off. Um, it's constantly saying, yeah, the last time we checked that, it was on. And so with this top button here, you can see this one here is only linked to our check now button. So if we press that, what it's going to do, it's going to say, okay, check our mimic now. But because this one here isn't uh, because this button now is off because obviously there's nothing with this one g that can turn this one on this turns it off because we've said okay check our mimic that's then gone to this uh, this uh, one here it's then looked at the button here and it's gone okay are you on or off in this case it's off and it's then gone okay update this function here and you're now off and so that's how the latch works guys um, it obviously has a lot of functions it's definitely the most complicated out of all the the switches we have in the game so far I'm guessing there might be some more switches at some point and you can obviously mix and match all of these to make even more complicated circuits and I I plan to do that and share my findings with you guys um, but yeah so this has been the latch let me know if you found this video helpful uh, and if you have please remember to like and subscribe um, but also if, if I I didn't explain that clear enough please please hit me up in the comments below and I'll uh, either try and answer I'll either try and answer your questions or I might try and make a clearer version of the video if a lot of people seem to not be understanding what I was saying there so, <laughs> so um, yeah so remember to, to let me know in the comments what you think and I'll see you later guys goodbye